Yes, Selamat Pagi. Good morning. First, let me congratulate uh, Bank Ngara Malaysia, the International Fund for Agricultural Development and the World Bank Group for organizing this event. Thank you for inviting me to moderate this panel. I carried out field work for my graduate studies in Telanganu in the 1980s, and I'm excited and delighted to be back after so many years. Thank you for having me. At the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs in New York, we produce global data, we support the General Assembly on migration issues, and we organize training on migration data. Last year, you and DESA uh, joint IFAT and the World Bank Group in organizing this forum, but then in New York. The forum and its recommendations had a major impact, in fact, on the work of the General Assembly on international migration and development. And I hope that this year's forum will be equally successful. As we speak, and you've heard already several references to it, the General Assembly is negotiating what we call the Global Compact for Safe, Orderly and Regular Migration to be adopted at an intergovernmental conference to be held in Morocco later this year. This will be the first ever comprehensive intergovernmentally negotiated agreement at the global level on migration in all its dimensions. More on this later. Now the Secretary General has appointed Ms. Louise Albor as his special representative on international migration to support the development of the Global Migration Compact to prepare to work with member states on this document and to organize the conference. Ms. Arbour could not make it in person, but she will now deliver a video message. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to address you.